Do you struggle with a stiff neck or does your child with autism and ADHD struggle with stiff neck pain? If so, try this simple exercise called the basic exercise. It will instantly release the tension and here are the steps. First, lie down on your bed comfortably face up. Then interlace your hands behind your head and rest your head in the center of your palms. While keeping your face in the center, let your eyes rotate all the way to the other side. Remember to keep your head in the center and move only your eyes to the other side. Stay there for up to 60 seconds or until you have a sigh, yawn, or swallow. Those are the signs that your relaxation nervous system or well-being nerve has kicked in and it will release the tension. Then bring the eyes back to the center and repeat the process on the other side. Now, let me explain why this simple exercise is so powerful and effective, not only for releasing tension in the neck, but also for improving the mood and behaviors of anyone, but especially children with autism and ADHD, if you help your child do it every day. We have a bunch of very important nerves at the back of the head traveling through the neck and spine. They are responsible for essential functions such as vision, hearing, taste, facial movements, heart, lung, digestions, etc. Basically, those nerves are the messengers between the brain and the body. In a way, the upper neck area is like a hub for the nerves. Our daily stress can rotate the upper neck bones C1 and C2. That's why you feel immediate tension or a headache at the back of your head or have a stiff neck with acute stress. And the rotation of the upper neck bone causes misalignment of nerves in the neck, just like a bunch of messy cables in an electrical fuse box. If we leave them as they are, not only do we feel sore and stiff, but also compresses blood vessels, lymph, and nerves that travel through that area and that's not good. So stiff neck means more than just being uncomfortable. Chronic neck pain can actually cause muscle weakness and dysfunctions of some important nerves, especially the vagus nerve, which is responsible for emotional and physical well-being. Dysfunction of the vagus nerve can lead to more sickness, irritability, and behavior issues in children, and in fact, for anyone. We cannot escape everyday stress, but by doing this simple exercise every day, we can help restore the disturbed nerves caused by stress. This will allow the important nerves and blood vessels and lymph to flow smoothly, ultimately enhancing our overall well-being. I personally do this exercise as soon as I wake up while still in bed in the morning and again as soon as I lie down in bed at night. So I encourage you to do exercise a couple of times a day and feel the instant relief then help your child to do it too. This basic exercise was introduced in this book.